In today's Eye on Health, as we continue the lockdown because of the coronavirus pandemic, some people are truly about to snap. Here's the scenario in most homes these days, juggling online school lessons, working from home, figuring out what's for breakfast, lunch and dinner, then add on health and money worries. And chances are you're a big ball of stress about ready to burst. Well, Dr. Alicia Kaplan is a psychiatrist with Allegheny Health Network. Thank you for joining us. She is joining us with some suggestions on how to cope. And in fact, what are you hearing from your patients right now, doctor? How are they feeling these days? Well, everybody seems to be dealing with this differently. Um, some people feel more anxious or scared or frustrated or sad about it. Um, so day to day, people are experiencing different emotions related to it. And so what specifically are stressors for, for parents regarding their children, some of the concerns they may have? Sure, well, with uncertainty and not knowing uh, day to day, you know, what the plan is gonna be, patients and parents can have different thoughts that go through their mind. For example, you know, where, what the status is gonna be with school in the fall, or even day to day getting things done, remote learning. So that can bring up different issues for each person. That's what when we're just you, talking about, yeah. When you feel as though you're to, sort of to your breaking point and you feel like you are going to snap, mm -hmm. What, what at that point should you do to try to calm yourself down and reduce the anxiety? Sure, well, I think it all comes down to self-care for the individual and what coping strategies work, right? So we tend to note that getting back to the basics is important. Uh, exercise, um, what's ever calming for the individual at the end of the day, um, listening to some music, for example, or talking to a good friend, but I think structure, putting our own structure in there when our children have structure during their day is important and that can cut down on the anxiety and the nervousness. You know, I think, uh, you know, in our house, sometimes it feels like there's no escape and everybody always needs something. So how can parents set boundaries when, when they're feeling like a, a bit overwhelmed by their kids' needs? I think um, it's important to have someone to talk to, whether if it's um, two parents in the household or a relative, for example, because then um, we can sort of decide who's gonna help with which part during the day. And I, that's where I think self-care is important, like having some downtime and structure for ourselves while, while our kids are having that structure. Um, I think it makes it much more anxiety provoking if we don't have any structure to our day. Yeah, and having some time away for yourself is important too. You talked about healthy eating, and this makes a bigger difference than people may realize, because if you're sitting around eating junk food all the time, that actually has an effect on you, right? Right, I mean, I think in the short run, you know, we all like to have, you know, something fun to eat or maybe something unhealthy, um, but in the long run, it keeps us you know, we want to stick with the basics, like having a good diet so that our energy is good, so that we um, feel healthy and have a good sleep pattern um, and exercise. These are all things that are good for us that for the long run, we should have, you know, in order. And I want to ask you about sleep because I have heard from a lot of people who parents and non parents who have said that they are having difficulty sleeping. Uh, we heard from a coworker who said his teenagers are up mm. until, you know, the wee hours of the morning. So a lot of people are struggling with sleep and having that normal sleep pattern. Yeah, that's right. I think because day to day we don't know how long this is going to go on. So, but it's important to try to stick with especially during the, you know, the regular work week that people have a regular set bedtime and set meals. Um, and you know what, my patients have been telling me different things that have worked for them that they've come up with. I mean, everybody's different in that way, but some people have found like they're cooking more and having more regular meals together. Um, some people tell me that they exercise together or they may have a painting project or something in the household that they feel good about. So. A little goes a long way with this and can, you know, help with our emotional well-being. Well, Dr. Kaplan, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate some of your tips and advice. Thank you.
All right, well, remember to keep watching our Eye on Health series right here on PTL. It happens on Wednesdays, and it's brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, together with Allegheny Health Network for your health.